Is this easy to achieve? Yes, success is not easy to achieve. Rishabh went back to his management college hunting and selection days. After two years of hard work and preparation, he managed to get into very good college, AIES Mumbai. Those days, after clearing your return exams, you had to participate in GD or PI for getting admission in PGDBA program. The gap between the written exam and GD or PA was only five days. And if you qualify both, only then you can come to know your college name and you need to deposit a small portion of college fee as a token. When you get some time to deposit entire amount, this token money is for ensuring you seat. The entire process is for 15 days. So Rishabh came to Mumbai with his friend Rinku and the common friend Keshav, whom they fondly called Krish. Rishabh's elder brother and son of his uncle was a government servant posted in Mumbai and stayed with his family in a posh government apartment. Krish was very close to both Rishabh and Rinku. He also belonged to their hometown. After completing his 10 plus 2, Krish came to Mumbai and completed his graduation. He started working with one small digital magazine company as a journalist. All the earning of Krish was very little, but the heart was very big and they were very closely attached to each other. So after coming to Mumbai, staying somewhere else was completely ruled out. Both Rishabh and Rinku stayed with him. Rishabh's father telephoned his brother and told him to take care of his younger brother. All was going well. Rishabh also went to meet his brother and updated him all about his exam and also told him that if he cleared both written exam and GD or PI, then he needed token money to secure his seat. That amount will be rupees 20,000. Only 20,000? No issue, don't worry. We will manage. His brother assured him. After his assurance, Rishabh was tension free. Now he had only one aim to crack the exam. It was in June 2001 when Rishabh cracked both the exams and got AIES College for his admission. Mumbai is always seen as financial capital of India. And in Mumbai itself, he got very good college rank-wise as well. He felt very happy. Once you see a lot of failures and if you get success, then the importance of that success only you can understand. After 10 plus 2 preparation for medical entrance and failure at it, then taking the decision to get admission for MBA degree course and now this success. It was a really very joyful moment for him. Everybody was happy and the twist came. His brother told him to ask for a few days extension from college management for arranging the token money. Rishabh went to the college and sought time for meeting the director and requesting him for the extension. He got that extension. After two days again, his brother showed the inability to arrange the required funds and asked him to seek another three days extension. He again went to the college and pleaded for another extension, although the management committee was not happy with his second request. Somehow he managed to get an extension in the name of being new to the city. Now the time was over. Prishab went to get the money from his brother and he came to know that scarcity was not the reason for not arranging the money. It was the intention. Anyway, he negotiated and somehow managed to get the check worth rupees 20,000 with the instruction that he needs to ask the college authority to the bank his check only after Tuesday. After Tuesday, next Tuesday, another extension of seven days. Rishabh's mind stopped working. Something hostile was going to happen, but he had no option left. The money was little, but city was new and other than his brother, his best friend Krish's earning was also very little. Let's see what is in my fate. He took a check and went to college. After taking an appointment with the director, he waited for his turn. His name was called. He went inside and first question from director was, Hey, you again came here for an extension. Tell me, what is your new excuse? Everybody present inside the cabin started laughing. 
He replied, Sir, I got a check from my brother, but he told me to bank this check on Tuesday. Tuesday? Wow, another seven days extension. Which type of people you are? We already gave you extra seven days, believing you are telling the truth. You came here from another state, and each and every day you are coming here with a new story. I think you are lying about your brother also. If you have an elder brother and you are new here in the city, then why didn't he accompany you here? You outsiders always come here and create a problem. Young man, I think you are not fit for this college. Search any other management college within your state. After listening to such harsh comments from director, Rishab thought, Over. It's over. Sir, I respect your decision. You should have cut short and just refused for an extension. But you said I'm not fit for this college. Sir, if you feel this, then you have to change your entire selection process. Because after clearing All India Return Entrance Exam, then GD and PI, I am here. So if I am not fit for this college, then your selection process is not good. Now I feel this college is not fit for me. He replied and just tore the check into pieces, threw it into the dustbin and left the cabin. He left leaving pin drop silence in the cabin. What a day it was. When he left the college, it was raining cats and dogs. He tried to hold his tears but failed. His one year of hard work was wasted and he just wanted to cry. And he cried. Rishabh came back to Krish's place. Rinku was there. He asked, what happened? Rishabh said, nothing. I have to prepare for one more year. One more year? Means you all go back to Patna and come back again next year? Rinku asked, yes. Rishabh replied and went to sleep. Next day, he phoned his father and asked only one question. Dad, if I want to prepare for next year exam from Mumbai, then will you be able to manage rupees 5,000 per month for me? His father said, why are you worrying? I'm here. Whatever you want to do, no issue. No question asked, no further discussions. Rishab went to Patna and left Ratan Lodge to come back to Mumbai with his baggage. Rinku Krish, Amarjeet and Rishabh were room partners. Rinku had taken admission in one very good management college. Amarjeet was also from Patna. He was a student of AIES and those days he was out for his summer internship. When Rishabh came back from Patna, then Amarjeet also came after completing his summer project and started attending his classes. One day, all four were having dinner and Amarjit said, you know, nowadays everybody is talking about one Bihari who tore a check in front of director sir. Rinku and Krish started laughing. Amarjit, hey, is that you? Rishab, yes, it was me. Then he asked, okay, tell me all about it. He explained in detail. Amarjit said, I have a good rapport with college management. Tell me if college agrees to take you in. Then you will take admission. Why not? It will save one year, Rishabh told him. Okay then, I will try, Amarjit said. Next day at 11.30 am, Rishabh received a call from Amarjit. Hey, please arrange the fee and take admission. We get only one day's time. One day? Only one day? Less than 24 hours. At 1 p.m., all four were there scratching their head over how to arrange rupees 60,000 in a day. Krish, Rinku, and Amarji all started pulling their savings as well as started calling all their friends and pulling money from them, irrespective of size of the amount. One of Rishabh's friend AK was also in Mumbai, living in TISS Devnar Hostel. Rishab called him and asked for help. It's 8.30 p.m. All five were assembled in main hall and put all money collected from their friends at one place. AK collected from his hostel mates, Amarjit and Rinku from their college friends. Krish from his colleague, they collected from rupees 500 to rupees 5000. Whoever felt comfortable on whatever amount, they asked for help 
and got it. They told them they will return their money within 15 days maximum. After counting, it was 70,000, more than required. Thank God, all were relieved. Rishab was speechless. Last time, within 20 days, he was not able to arrange rupees 20,000. And now, within 7 hours, they have rupees 70,000. What a fate. You can't predict your fortune. But yes, fate always favors the brave. Now he called his father and told the story. The old story and the new one. And asked him to send rupees 70,000 as soon as possible. For saving one year of his son, his father managed rupees 70,000 and converted it as a bank draft. He asked his childhood friend Vijay to go to Mumbai. He asked his childhood friend Vijay to go to Mumbai and give this bank draft to him. Vijay came to Mumbai and handed over bank draft to Rishabh. Rishabh asked him, Why did you come? You should courier this draft. Boss, I didn't have faith in your fate. So to avoid any risk, I came. Vijay said. What a lovely group of friends he had. Rishabh thanked God for such a loyal and selfless friends in his life. That day he understood the power of networking. If you are well connected, then managing things is not very difficult. Admission process finished. The new journey began.